Willow Creek Springs presents Healthy Living with your host, Joe Grumbine. Hello and welcome to the Healthy Living Podcast brought to you by Willow Creek Springs. I'm Joe Grumbine. I'll be your host and I have back with me again, Richard McEwen, and uh, Richard's got a lot of updates for us. Richard, welcome to the show. How are you doing today? Okay, Joe. How are you? Oh, fantastic. I'm glad to be here. And, uh, you know, we just got done uh, uh, talking for probably about half an hour or so about all the updates. And I was like, oh, wait a minute, there's some good content here we're missing out on. So I figured I wanted to, uh, uh, you know, it, it's a funny thing because we got this balance of business and friendships and the nonprofit and um, working on projects and all these things. And there's a place where they all come together, but there also there's a place where they're separate. So I figured it's good to just have a one on one with Richard, my friend, before I bring you in as Richard, my coach or my uh, my business partner or whatever other hats you're going to be wearing today. And <laughs> and now you've got hair, so that's a whole different world. I know. Whole let, new it, let, it, let it grow. I'm going to see what it, what it's capable of. So All right. I haven't got any, any uh, negative comments yet. So we're, we're in so the safe far, zone. So good. <laughs> I just keep it great and keep it simple. Right on. But so I'd like to gonna... bring up as far as like what uh, you were talking about and you covered, like, you know, you start in the program or where you're at and the, and the progress that you, you've you made, like, it's such a huge deal to pretty much talk about not only for just somebody young or somebody, you know, in, around our age, but like over general on like how to deal with things. So mm -hmm. to me, if, you know, the biohacking to me, this is pretty much a program that's pretty much the mother of all biohacking because if you commit to the program and 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 give it you know that faith that it deserves it'll actually heal the body because under pressure what it teaches you is is the hormones that we release within our body the hdh human growth hormone you will actually start producing that from the workout with a high intensity interval you know training so mm -hmm. the more pressure that you put your system, your body under, the more it's going to rejuvenate because it has to keep up. So that's the pressure that you want to build instead of the pr the pressure in the mind, your pressure of thoughts. Those those take all your gifts away from you. So the biohacking in it, you know, from like if you can do one push up, because a lot of people, what I've learned is. You know, I'm 52 years old. I'm retired. You know, that's a young age to be retired at. I was forced to be retired. But, you know, it, it to me, it it was for a reason. This was supposed to be, you know, my life. You know, I've accepted that. I'm, I'm cool with it, being 52 retired. So, mm -hmm. uh, but what I've learned is, you know, when everyone does go retire is by the time that they're able to just go and do whatever they want to do, wake up with no alarm, you know, just go and sit in the yard all day because they can. You right. know, they don't have the energy, you know, to sustain their retirement, you right. know, be around their family and, and, and be youthful, you know, go fishing, do the things that you look forward to all those years you've been working. And it's because you get sucked into the workforce to where that is a require a hundred percent requirement from you. So you have no time left over to, to adjust, to recoup, recuperate and, and, and get on, you know, to the next mission, you know, the next day. Right. So it's depleting and depleting and depleting. So by the time you're retired, you, you, you're left with just you're medication. Yeah. Yeah. You're just like so an you, empty you know, you're left with a doctor you know, to help you the rest of, you know, sustain your life. You know, to me, 52 years, that's 52 summers that I've been on this planet. You know, right. the longest living person is probably 112, but the average American is probably about 80, 88. So Maybe, that's yeah. 88, you know, say, you know, I live 88 years, you know, that's 88 summers. Right. That's a long number, you know, I mean, it, it, it just, I don't know, I think differently. And I, I put more time into myself to where it's needed, because that's what sustains you at the end of the day, you know, everything that you've dealt with for everybody else, 
whenever it, you know it's good night for you to lay your head on the on the pillow, you don't have that peace because you haven't had that time for yourself. You're still worried right. about everything else, and you've never given yourself that respect. So it teaches you that. And if I could do this just once, say it in thought, you know, make my body move in that position just once. It, I know I could do it again. Right. So one push up, it actually is it's an overall body workout. A lot of people say, man, you do a thousand push ups. You should have like Arnold's chest and like you should have like, you know, this humongous chest. And I just yeah. laugh because no, no, that's you're not going to get, you know, freakishly big. Right. But you, you know, your size that your body is capable of. Right. And it, and it's the strength that you get from it, you know, supersede well, that a difference, matter. a big old difference in practical strength and bodybuilding look. And the guys that are building their bulk to, to be a professional bodybuilder, they're doing different things than the guys that are trying to get strong. You want to know who's strong? A friggin' farmer. You got a guy that's out there plowing the fields and 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 pulling fence posts, but you look at those guys. Or a cowboy, somebody who's just out there doing hard work all the time, you know, and and you look at those guys and yeah, they're toned, they're strong, but they don't have, you know, it's it's a different yeah. thing. So so people have to realize that, you know, like my goal isn't to look a particular way. My goal is to be strong and healthy. That's all I care about. Exactly. Well, exactly. It'll, it'll work itself out. However I look, I look, but I'd rather be healthy and strong knowing that I can do the things that I want to do, because that's what you get. That's your reward. Now I can do a hard thing easier. And oh, yeah. what I noticed, too, is like, well, I'm in, in the middle of it. You know, when I started, I don't know, remember, I think I did 60 or something, my first round or 30. I don't know. It was some small number. Now, like I was telling you, I hit 630 by 10 o'clock this morning. And that's where I'm at right now. But some somewhere in the middle of it, you're doing a set and all of a sudden you're just like, oh, geez, this is hard. And, 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 but I'm able to tell myself, shut up. Like you just did this yesterday and you're going to do it again and you'll be fine. And, and then all of a sudden your body's like, oh yeah. And then the next time you go and do it, you're like, well, it was just really hard a minute ago. And now I'm doing the very same motion and it's not so hard. So you're right. The mind <laughs> completely seems to, be able to change like your body wants to whine and bitch a little bit so it doesn't have to do the hard <laughs> thing and you can yeah. train it to say well you know but what's really cool is now i'm learning that sometimes i can do a set pretty effortlessly and that was what i was hoping i would get to or i can just snap 100 out or you know snap four sets of 25 out without it really hurting and i'm like okay yeah you're so, you're at peak mode and that's that's great that's where you want to just ride well that's what i'm trying to get <laughs> to where half of it'll be that easy because then then you can push yourself to do something a little harder but to get through that sort of baseline with what was undoable four months ago right it was it was something if somebody said sit down and do 500 today a couple of months ago, four months ago, it would have been a major deal. I probably would have done it, but it would have just been brutal and it would have taken me all day long and I would have probably hurt for a month, you know, and, and now yeah. it's just part of my morning routine and, and I'm not even particularly sore a little bit, you know, you always feel, all right, I feel like I did something yesterday. So there's, as long as that is happening, I'm like, okay, we're still making progress. It doesn't have to be, I'm dying. I can barely pick something up. As long as I feel, all right, I've got a little sore in me. I'm, we're, we're okay. Well, and that's another thing with the bi the Biohack 40 is like, you you start with 40 pushups. Why? Because that that starts rejuvenating your health and all the health conditions because of just being able to, to be able to do just 40 push-ups but what the the breakthrough and the barrier where it goes within the body and mind past 40 building that thousand that is a that is the preparation that's the goal and it, and it, that 40 it to me like whenever you go say oh I want, if you're in the military and you want to go to a tech team you know a, a, a special forces team i want to go navy seals or i want to go reconnaissance or you know army rangers or whatever they are 
you, you're doing indoc, you know, you have to go and you have to do this test. Well, a lot of people take that test and they pass it and then they can't get through training is because they put all their mindset and their effort into just passing that. Right. Well, that's a basic level. That's nothing of what's coming. It just exactly. means that can your body handle what's going to come. Right. So that's the 40 push-ups is the end doc, right. you know, and instead of make, Oh, you can't do this program, you know, in, unless you could do 40 push-ups. No, is it's teaching you to get to that end doc so that right. you can train, you know? So taking that concept out, there's a lot of psychological, like behind, you know, the push is, is where the program's created, you know? And when I did it, I didn't even know it, but I actually taught it myself from somewhere, you know? Right, it's like right, a, right. Yeah, where did you get this idea? To be able to myself to heal. Right. Where did that knowledge come from? Yep. And it was listening to myself and, and, and faith, you know? I was- a Small, quiet voice. Uh, life altering, you know, injuries, you know, and yeah. how do you, how do you deal with that when your man, you know, in yeah. front of you telling you, oh, we can't do nothing, you know, sorry. Right. Well, it's bullcrap because it teaches you, you know, and I didn't, with all the research, it was like, okay, I feel so much great. Why is, why am I feeling better? You know, yeah. what am I doing right? And then all the research, just like a doctor is going to do on your health, he has to go research before he can talk to you right. and tell me about what's going on. Yeah, what's yeah. The same thing you're doing, you know, in, in your program, it teaches you to research your own self and your own symptoms so that you can heal yourself, you know? And, it, and if you get to that breaking point, that's where you can add to where the assistance, where you need help. It teaches you to not be dormant and, and, and you know, say, no, I, I don't want to ask for help because that's, you know, in society right now, it's taken as like shame, right? You know, the, the weakness, right, or something. right, right. Yeah, you're you a weakling. Know? You don't, you, you, you know. But yeah, it's not what happened to you, Marine? You know, or what right. happened to you? I thought the Air Force was, you know, badass. You know, right. it, it's like, yeah, the, it is, and it is taking a toll on on you. You know, right? So how well, do you, you do get with a professional that? athlete or somebody who puts their body through, or or a guy who works? you know, on a, on a, on an oil derrick for 20 years, they literally wear their bodies out and, you know, they, they're strong as hell for 20 years. And then after a while they wore their joints out or they wore their, you know, broke a, you know, a, a slipped a disc in their back or whatever. And, or, 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 you know, with fighters or uh, football players, they get head injuries, you know, you can't keep smashing your head or things go wrong. And so, I think that what this does, and and I think what happens is like, you know, military is a young man's, a, a young man in their prime's world, and then the older people are leaders and 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 all of that. But but there's phases. So you're you know 16 to 24 or whatever. You're that strapping young man who's still growing and stupid as hell. And the military can be really good to, to give some discipline to that strength and really build it out. And then you get into your thirties and you've got a good, strong developed body and a mind that can get some stuff done. Then to get into your forties and things start to ache a little bit. And probably a lot of people start tapping out in the military and they retire out, you know, and then you get into your fifties and, you know, when I hit my 50s, that was kind of when I began my journey because my dad died and I was 50 pounds overweight and living a pretty stressful life. And I realized I got to make some changes because I don't want to die at 70 like my dad did. I wouldn't do it. And so I made some radical changes to my diet, initially lost this weight and began training my own way and ultimately I, I got myself to a place where I'm I'm in pretty decent shape for a 57 year old, but but now I'm saying, well, why can't I just be in decent shape? Who cares what age I am? And yeah. so that's where I'm headed now is going. Well, I remember how I was when I was 30, and I was you know I had a, a, an easier time of it because my metabolism was faster, you know, and 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 I just naturally was strong, so I was able to do stuff that was. And I always have had a high energy level, but now it's like, well, why can't I have that today? I couldn't think of a reason. 
And yeah. that's what this is doing for me, I think, is it's 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 saying, well, age is just a it it's it's a thing, but but it doesn't have to matter. You know, I've seen guys that are in their 70s and even 80s that are strong as hell. And and you know, like you know that dude that really impressed me and he died not too long ago, but Jack LaLanne, remember that guy? Yeah, that guy was in. All the ladies loved him. <laughs> he was, he was the, that like guy was freaking. a beast. He was a friggin' beast. And all he Even did was when he was night. What how old was he? He was in his 90s and he would swim across yeah. to Catalina with a friggin' boat in his teeth. I mean, the guy was crazy. <laughs> yeah. But but he always did calisthenics. He never did heavy weight training. He didn't do any of that. It was always just your body. His, his, his mindset was built on performance. Yes. And a lot of like the bodybuilding and moving a lot of weight, it, it's not based for that's not a format for performance, you know. Right. To some kind I, of performance. Yeah, yeah. There, you have to if you're gonna lift eight hundred pounds for an hour, you gotta have the wind in your lungs and the capacity to do that. Right. You need the blood flow, you need all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So if you don't have that capacity to do that for an hour, it's just you're gonna hurt yourself. Right. So right. The, the conditioning cardio wise has to be stronger so that it can support that at, at longer durations. And that's that's why he did more of. And that's like pushing your own body weight. You don't do that when you go to the gym. Joe, you're lifting supplemental weight. Exactly. And that's added. So if you're already injured. And you're going and adding more weight. <laughs> That's, well, you know, and you know, also the, the disaster that waiting to happen when you're, when you're moving your own body, you're doing different muscle groups. So when people are bodybuilding, they're focusing on specific activities for specific muscle groups and they'll do this one kind of a curl or that kind of a thing. And it's specifically to target this muscle or that muscle. And they've got the science of that down really good, but you know, who's really strong is rock climbers. Oh, yes. And and those guys are not bulked out and those guys are not. They're usually slender and they're and they're 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 buff, but they're not, you know, bulky, you know, muscle bound guys. But what are they doing? They're lifting themselves up, maybe sometimes with one hand, maybe sometimes with a leg, maybe sometimes. But what happens is it's not just the pure strength but it's the agility and the balance and the ability to take your arm and swing yourself over there and know that you're going to land over there and have that mental you know like you say everything's mental and the ability to go from the bottom to the top i would take the guy who's been lifting himself all day long over the guy who's been weight training just to be really strong any day so here's what i want to do richard we've already burned up this episode and I want to, like always, this, like always, I want to tap this episode out and turn around and start another one because right. I, I, I miss talking to you and we still got a lot to talk about. And I figure if you got another half an hour in you, we can go ahead and close this one out and and uh, we'll just jump right into another one. What do you say? It's my little one coming in the door. <laughs> All right. Hello, little one. What's your name? Bella. Bella. All right. Hello, Bella. How you doing? You're a pretty little girl. <laughs> Excellent. All right, folks. Well, on that note, this has been the Healthy Living Podcast brought to you by Willow Creek Springs. Richard, you got any uh, final parting shot for us today? Stay tuned for the next episode. <laughs> Excellent. That's a good one. All right. Let me go ahead and 